So this is the cap on my top boom on the sunfish and you know it just pops out. So I'm going to put some epoxy around it and then stick that thing in place where it should be. Um, they had you know the rope that went off to the sail up here. They were going through the sail and then they also had it wrapped around the boom here. Probably in case this thing popped out or something it would uh, <laughs> try to keep it in place. I'm going to epoxy it and then I'll probably do the same thing. I'm just using two-part five-minute JB Weld epoxy here. Assuming this hasn't dried up in the bit of time since I've used it. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. I'm mixing more than I really need here. I want to be able to mix it up well and make sure it's mixed well. It's always better to have a little bit extra than not enough. Now the five, the written five on this boom, lines up with the direction that I want this thing to be facing. So orientation is important when I plug this thing in. And you'll notice I have masking tape ready to go to hold it in because it's kind of friction fit, but it's not super, super, super good as friction fit goes. So I am putting this arm in a downward direction so that any excess falls off and back onto my mixing surface. And I'm wearing gloves because otherwise I'm sure I'd get epoxy on fingers somewhere. All right, so that's an excessive amount of epoxy, but whatever. If we get a little on this boom, I'm not gonna be too worried about it. There we go. Since I'm wearing gloves and I forgot to get a paper towel, I'm gonna use my gloves as paper towel. And I'm also not too worried about epoxy building up on that thing, but Ideally, I will not epoxy masking tape to my boom here, but I definitely don't want that thing coming off. Also, and this end cap on the top boom was loose, so I epoxied it in, and I'm going to tie the outhaul back in there.